Hello, welcome to Spanish Lessons with Dr. Alan Davison. The videos in this series are designed to be used with the Blurzo el Burro graded Spanish reader. The reader is available at Amazon.com or through my website at Blurzo.com. Have fun! Okay, let's continue with our discussion of direct object pronouns. As I mentioned, pronouns can be placed either before a conjugated verb or after and attached to an infinitive or gerund slash present participle. Don't worry about the gerund present participle at the moment. We'll see that in the next lesson. But we do know what an infinitive is. That is a verb that is not conjugated, a verb that ends in R. So, for example, let's say we have the sentence, uh, Yo quiero leer el libro. I want to read the book. Okay, conversation goes on. Why do you want to read the book? I want to read the book because, etc., etc. After a while, we don't want to say the book anymore. We just want to say it. El libro, of course, the direct object pronoun would be lo. So where can we put this? Remember our rule here. Before a conjugated verb or after an attached to an infinitive. You can always put it before the conjugated verb. So you could always put it here. Yo lo quiero leer. Literally, I, it, want to read. That's correct. Yo lo quiero leer. You, of course, is optional. Or we can also put it after and attached to the infinitive. Leer is the infinitive. So you could also put yo, optional, quiero leerlo. And it becomes one word, leerlo. Okay? So let's try a few more of these. How about, uh, I want to read them. Let's say, instead of el libro, it were los libros. Then it would be los, and you'd end up with yo los quiero leer, or quiero leerlos. Okay. Okay, let's work again with our verb ver, to see. How about, el quiere Ver. He wants to see, and who does he want to see? Let's say he wants to see me. We have two options. We can put it either before the conjugated verb, el me quiere ver, or you could put it after ver, and then it would be attached, and it would become verme. El quiere verme. Let's write that out so it's clear. El quiere verme. Okay? He wants to see me. Or you can put that me before the conjugated verb. Okay, what about he wants to see us? El quiere ver. You can either say el nos quiere ver, or you can say el quiere vernos. Not both, but one or the other. Okay, he wants to see us. How about he wants to see her? El la quiere ver. Or, el quiere verla. Okay? We want to see her. Nosotros, optional. Queremos ver. We want to see her. Would be la. So we could either put it before queremos. La queremos ver. Or, after and attached to ver, which would become verla. Okay? So that's uh, another uh, uh, way to place uh, direct object pronouns when you have the option of putting them after the infinitive. We'll next take a look at the uh, gerund, present participle forms, and then we'll play with the direct object pronouns uh, using those forms in the next video. Hasta luego.